All right, guys, in this episode of Dockside TV, we're going to be sight fishing redfish. Last episode you saw us, we were using 8th ounce and 16th ounce weedless hooks, fishing bass on the surface. On this particular day, we got perfect sunshine, and we're going to be sight fishing reds. We went with the crawfish again, which we use a quarter ounce weedless hook on that, and then the new swim shed hook. We had to go to a five odd hook. This is the big one. The last episode was the little three inch one. This is the big five inch swim shed. And you want to use like a three eighths ounce weight on it because it takes some time to get this plastic down to the bottom. So these items are going to be in this uh, next matrix subscription box. Make sure you Where sign up for that. Going? Don't worry about Lauren. Tell them what you want to tell them. Okay. All right, well, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope this lure is really, really effective on big reds and watch it in action along with the Matrix Crawl. Make sure to subscribe to our Dockside TV and the Matrix Bait Box and see you guys out on the water. All right, tell them bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>
go over the lures that we're using. Sam's using the Matrix Crawl in the new Zulu color. I'm playing with the new swim shad that we got. It's a five inch bait. Got it on a five odd hook rig weedless. This is a perfect grilling size red, but what you want to look for when you're sight fishing, these are the three main ingredients. Stingrays is a key. You see stingrays and the water's clean, you're gonna see reds, they're somewhere around. Secondly, you want this neon green snot grass that we're seeing all over today. That is, soup, that is incredibly important. Thirdly is your vision. Good polarized sunglasses, you want big arm bars or you wanna make sure the frame is large, that way it cups the sun out from getting in there. And then finally, standing up high on a platform like this. So vision is extremely important and those are the ingredients you wanna see, which will put you in the right area where red big, you know, bronzy, floating, they look like stop signs in the water, which we call them pumpkins. Look at that one. There's another can fish right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. I'll hold the camera for a second. Go ahead, see if you can get that one. I don't know if I got the fish still. I don't know. Fishes. Oh, you can still got him. It's around that island right there. Should we pull him through? Come on through. Come over land there. All right, guys. I don't know how good you're gonna see that eat because that fish was from a far distance away. We'll talk about just kind of the cast and presentation you want to make. There he is. But what you want to do is if you're really good at casting and you can make that lure barely hit the water, you can pitch it right on his nose. If you're really good, you want it to, it's got to be super quiet. If you're not that great at casting, you want to cast past the fish, reel it to him, and drop it. That's the key. And that's what I did on that fish. It was a pretty long cast. Again, look on our that's our moonshine, new matrix swim shad, great weedless bait. I cast it way past him and then dropped it right there. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one for the grill tonight. I'm gonna show you how we're rigging this uh, matrix swim shad. All right, as you can see, I got grass on the line and that's why you wanna use weedless baits out here. We're fishing heavy vegetation. So look, you're gonna tie your line to the eyelet of the hook as normal. This is a corkscrew. So you screw it all the way in, all the way to the nose of the bait. Then there's a belly slit here. You're gonna put the hook through the belly slit and it's gonna pop out right there and there's a little groove at the top of the lure where you can kind of push it in there and hide the hook. You can even do what they call skin hook it well, you're gonna take a piece of that excess plastic on the top and you're gonna hide that hook. That's if it's really grassy. I usually leave it relatively exposed and that thing's gonna cut through the grass very nice, just like our matrix crawl does. But you're gonna get in situ, today it doesn't seem to really matter. I got three, Sam's got three, Sam's using the crawl. But you're gonna get in situations sometimes, you might be on bull reds that want big mullet imitation lures and then the crawfish is a great crab imitation lure so it's nice to have both in your arsenal and that way you can see what the redfish might be favoring that day let's see if we can get some more did he really
There he goes. Man, that was nuts. I had to throw on. I just blankly threw on him, and he just ate it in the middle. I thought I didn't think he was gonna eat that, but I kind of just let it almost drop, and it, it just once it dropped. Pull around the back. I didn't think he was going to eat at all when he turned away from it. All of a sudden, he, he like got scared and he looked at me. That's pretty funny. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dockside TV. We have all kinds of sight fishing episodes. So all you got to do is YouTube search Dockside TV, sight fishing, red fishing, sunny, some kind of keyword like that. And they're never ending. This is what we do throughout the whole summer. And it's a complete blast. And the entire state of Louisiana is the greatest place in the world to do this. What we were using today was the swim shad, the big one in the moonshine, and any color would have worked. Color's not that important when it comes to this. And uh, that was the big one on a five odd hook. And Sam did very well with the new Zulu matrix crawl, which is our Mardi crawl swirl pattern. This is an awesome dude too. Make sure to subscribe to our matrix bait box if you want some of these items in the next bait box for this given month. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel check out all of our dockside tvs we're gonna go ahead and cut the camera off now it's too perfect of a day we're gonna go stick some more redfish and have a blast till next time good fishing